The Volkswagen Group has plunged a dagger into Diesel's image, but the body is still twitching. In larger vehicles, such as this 5,335-pound Range Rover Sport HSE TD6, diesel can make sense, especially when the fuel runs 80 cents or so cheaper per gallon than premium, as it was in California during our test. Land Rover, a brand that seems to rest perennially below average in initial quality scores but nonetheless enjoys strong sales, makes the diesel option mightily tempting. First, on 2016 models the upcharge is only $1,500, whether you get the HSE, diesel base price, $72,945, or the less froth SE, base, $67,945. At 152 pounds, the weight penalty also is modest compared with the last gasoline V6 Sport HSE we tested. Yes, you have to add urea for the selective catalytic reduction system that mitigates smog forming oxides of nitrogen, but the refill interval is about 10,000 miles. In the meantime, you can enjoy a range of more than 600 miles between fuel pump visits. The Ford sourced 254 horsepower 3.0 liter turbo diesel V6 and the 8 speed automatic transmission are superbly done, being both preternaturally quiet and relatively efficient for a permanently all wheel drive truck in the Mastodon class. We averaged 24 miles per gallon in mixed driving, including climbing some steep mountain grades. We recorded only 15 miles per gallon in the gasoline Sport HSE in that earlier comparison test of four SUVs, it finished third. If you prefer the EPA apples to apples comparison, the diesel rates 22 miles per gallon city and 29 miles per gallon highway to the gasoline supercharged V6 S1723. Opt for the 5.0 liter V8 and, well, polar bears are swimming. No doubt the TD6 shines because something like a bazillion percent of Land Rovers sold in Europe are diesels, actually, it's 90%, and that's in a diesel luxury SUV market that is extremely competitive. The segment isn't nearly as large here, but contenders that cross the Atlantic include the BMW X5 xDrive 35D and the soon-to-arrive Mercedes-Benz 4 Matic Gl 300D and GLS 350D as well as the upcoming Jaguar F-Pace. The gasoline version of the BMW X5 was the one vehicle that the Range Rover Sport beat in that recent comparison test, but when we tested the diesel version our observed fuel economy was an even better 25 miles per gallon. We're awaiting opportunity to test the new Mercedes and Jaguar models. It's a little easier to stand out in the diesel deluxe segment here. Sales of the Audi Q7 TDI and equivalent Porsche Cayenne diesel are temporarily suspended until the emissions scandal is resolved, and Volvo has no plans to offer us the diesel variant of its XC90.